Good evening, Cornerstone and Iron Circle families. Welcome to Monday Night Classes. It's the 5 o'clock <coughs> class. This is the Tiny Tigers, Little Dragons, Youth Beginners, and anybody that wants to use it as a warm-up for the next few classes. Any uh, announcements, sir, before we get rolling? All right. Um, thank you to everybody that came by and picked up the belts. Um, if you want to, uh, for Cornerstone people, if you want to come by and get your belts, let us know you're coming. Um, do it you know, in between teaching or something like that so we can know that you're coming and we can put it out outside for you okay all right shall we sir let's turn it up Jung -Yi. all right gang no attention turn it up Jung -Yi. all right student creed remember the student creed is very important so when i'm doing the student creed you should be repeating after me and you should not be dancing wiggling throwing kicks in the background you should be standing still hands behind the back and repeating after me and this is a promise you make every time you take karate that you're taking karate for the right reasons not to be a show off, not to be a schoolyard ninja, not to be a bully, anything like that. But you're taking karate to make yourself better, make the people around you better, make the world around you a little bit better. All right, ready? Turn up, turn up, to me and Pia. Hands behind the back and repeat after me. Say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth. Or physical health. Part two, I will develop self discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Part three, I will use what I learned in class constructively and defensively. Woo -choo, woo, excuse me. To help myself and my fellow head. Ah, excuse me. And never to be. Abusive or offensive. Don't worry, guys. It's just seasonal allergies. It's not anything else. It's not the Budweiser virus. It's nothing else. All right. Last one. We are a black belt school. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We're on a quest to be our best. Tong Su. All right. Ready? Turn it up. All right. Jumping jacks. We're going to do five every direction. Quarter turn to your left. Your left is that way. So, well, if you're, yeah, I think it's that way. Uh, and zoom, it's that way. You know where your left side is. You have your uniform on, it's your Korean flag. Go to Korea. Five every direction. Remember, especially for my little guys. I'm looking at you, Connell. I see you out there. Clap at the top. Slap at the bottom. Count loud. Stay with me. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. Turn. One, two, Three, four, five, turn. One, two, three, four, five. Last five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. Ready? Hands up. Step over. Chun B and Tia. All right, good job. Everybody down in the horseback stance. Do our center punch exercise. Remember, proper karate fist. Well, you guys can see my fist where the thumb is tucked, right? Thumb is tucked, fingers in tight. Bring it out. Put your left hand out. Bend your knees. Single punch. My count. Ready? Hot up. Toe. Set. Net. Toss it. Yas it. Yo do. Yo do. Aho. Yo. All right. Two punches now. Make sure you go all the way out on both punches. Don't do the little dog paddle thing. Don't do the T Rex. Hand gesture thing, right? Two full punches. Ready? Hana. So. Set. Net. Pass it. Yas it. You'll go. Yo do. Aho. Yo. Three punches. Give me tongue su do. Ready? Hana. So. Set, net, toss it, yas it, you go, yoda, aho, yo. Okay, guys, good job. Come back to Chun B. All right, and put your right leg behind you, fighting stance, hands up. And everybody out there say, apadolagi. I can't hear you on Zoom. I can't even see you on Facebook, but I know you're out there. I'm glad you're here. It looks like Josh is here. Hugh is here. 
Rohan is here. Is that Mason and Sophia? Yes. Saying that right? Madison. Well, was it? Madison. Madison. It just says Mazin. Mazin. All right, Sophia. All right. Welcome in, guys. However, I mispronounced your name. My apologies. Master Brother will fix it later. All right. Front stretch kick. Leg string straight up. Bring it straight back. Ready, Hana? So, set, net, toss it, yes it, ilgo, yoro, aho, yo. All right, everybody, switch feet. Other side now. Ready, hana. So, set. Net, toss it, yas it, yoga, yoro, aho, yo. All right, and everybody switch. Now we're going to do apchagi in place. This is not a stretch kick. This is a karate attacking kick. Leg bends two times on the front kick. When we hit the target, we hit with the ball of the foot right here. Not your toes, not the top of your foot. Hitting with the ball of your foot. Leg bends two times. So you're going to bend, kick, bend, and pull back, right? Bend, kick, bend, and set it down. All right, Zoomers, I can see you. I can't see anybody else. I want to see good balance out there. I don't want to see you kick and then fall over this way, fall over that way, okay? Okay. Want a nice straight kick? Show me your good balance. Ready? And one. And two. Don't forget the key up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And switch feet. Connell, are you kicking? I can't see. Are you kicking over there, dude? I'm looking right at you. Other leg now. Ready? Hana. So that's it, man. Get that leg up in the air. Set. Net. Good job. Toss it. Yas it. Yogo. Yodo. Aho. Yo! All right, everybody, switch feet. Next. Everyone say, Anaso Pakaro Chagi. This is inside the outside crescent kick. So, leg's going to come across your body. We're all rainbow and go behind you. So, we kick across, rainbow, and bring it back. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, Zoomers. Let me see you do it on Zoom. That's a big circle. Bring it across. Big circle. Bring it across. Here we go. Ready, hop, so, set, net, don't forget the key up, guys, toss it, bring it all the way behind you where it started, yas it, you'll go, go to, aho, yo, and everybody switch. Other side now. Ready and hana. Good. Going the other way. Toe. Keep those hands up. Set. Net. Toss it. Yas it. You'll go. Yoro. Aho. And yo. All right, step back and tune B. Okay, next, there's a bunch of you from uh, Cornerstone that probably remember the game Duck, Jump, or Move. Usually we play it with a pool noodle. So I'm right in front of you. One of the instructors right in front of you. I'm trying to bop you with a pool noodle. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to bop you virtually with a pool noodle. So uh, Iron Circle Kids, listen up. Rules are going to be real easy. Gonna be right leg back, fighting stance, hands up. And I'm either gonna say duck or jump. And all you need to do is either duck or jump. 
Okay. Either duck or jump. I say duck, everybody ducks. I say jump, everybody jumps. All right, let me get up close here. Looking at the Zoomers. Make your hands up. Fighting stance. Hands up. Fighting stance. Let's just practice a couple here. Ready? Everybody duck. I say one guy. There we go. And get up quick. Get up quick. You're going to duck. You're going to get up. You're going to duck and get up real fast. Try it again. Ready? Duck. Good job. Now, if I say jump, what are you going to do? Ready? Jump. That's it. Good job, Connor. Jump high, man. Get those legs up in the air. All right, here we go. Ready? I can only see the Zoomers. I can't see anybody on Facebook. So follow along. Trusting you're doing it right. Ready? Duck. Ready? Duck. Ready? Jump. Ready? Jump. Ready? Duck. Ready? Jump. Ready? Jump. Ready? Jump two times. Good job. Ready? Duck two times. Good. Ready? Duck, duck, jump, jump. All right. Good job, Valerie. I think that's you, Valerie. Great job, kid. Ready? Duck, duck, jump, duck. Good job, Josh. Good job. All right. Good job, guys. Now let's go on back in again. Come to attention. Turn up. Turn B. And everybody get in the horseback stance. And let's just real fast go through Tiger Form 1. If we have time, Tiger Form 2. Okay. If you're orange belt, I know you're, you're past this, but it's a way for you to practice your block. So do it anyway. Give it your best shot. Tigers like Connell out there. Hey, this is the ones you need to get your next belt. So make sure you're paying attention and learning these. Dragon, same thing. You're learning your blocks and punches. You're practicing. It's good stuff. So horseback stance. Tiger form one is only five moves. It's all done from horse stance. Everybody wave your left hand. Wave your left hand. Left hand is going to block first. Ready? So your left hand will be over here, Zoomers. Your left hand's over here, Zoomers. There you go. All right, ready? Make an X. Give me a low block. Yell, Tia! Now make an X and block with the other hand. Another low block. Yell, Tua! Good. Make an X. Give me a high block with the other hand. Yell, Tia! Give me an X. High block with the other hand. Yell, Tua! And throw a punch and yell, Asa! Good job. Now when one hand is blocking, the other hand shouldn't be hanging here dead. That other hand is always tucked up and ready for action, right? Always ready for action. So let's make that horse stance again. Go with the left side low block. Ready? Tia! Make sure that back hand is tucked. Other hand now. Tua! Good. Now other hand high block. Tia! Other hand high block. Tua! And don't let that hand hang. Make sure it's tucked. Then punch and yell. Asa! All right, good. So white belt tigers, four and five-year-olds, this is the form you need to get your tiger orange, to get your orange stripes. So make sure you get it down. Let's do it again. Ready? Left side. Tia. Right side. Tua. High block. Tia. High block. Tua. And punch it. Asa. And bring it back. All right, let's do it again. Ready? One. Tia. Two. Tua. Three. Tia. Four, two, five, asa. One more time, guys. Here we go. Ready? And go. Tia. Two. Tia. Two. And asa. I think my man Connell's doing it good. He's the one that's going to have to test on this. Good job, buddy. I'm watching. I can see you from here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Going to switch off here with Sabon and Mebroda. Good job. Keep working hard. Face to me. Turn up. Kyung Yi Bao. Face Sabon and Mebroda. Turn up. Sabon and Mekin Yet. Sir. Okay. First thing we're going to do is I know Master Claus did some kicking in the beginning, but now we're going to kick set for um, your forms. All right. So we're going to make a fighting stance. We're going to go front kick. And then after that, we'll go side kick. And then after that, we'll go roundhouse kick. We'll do five kicks. We're going to do it once per kick. But I want you to start in a set stance and end in a set stance, just like you were doing if you were doing the three advancing kicks in Sigyang, Ilgo, Iwur, Sambu, 
After we do that, we're going to work on the blocking set back and forth a couple of times, and then we're going to get to the forms if we have time. All right, so fighting stance, put your hands up. All right, I'll tag you first. So I'm going to front kick, mid to high, and then set it in front. Remember, like Master Claus said, using the ball of the foot. So hands up. Ready? One. Good. Set it down. Make sure I'm in my set stance. And back. Ready? Two. Good. And three. Good. Hands up. Four. Good. Let's do one more. And five. Good job. Now slide back. Now I'm on the other side. I'm going to go five on the other side. Hands up. Ready? One. Good. Two. Make sure my hands stay up, my eyes stay up. Three. Good. Four. Last one. And five. Okay, back to Shimmy. So really quickly, we're not doing a ton of these to try to get you to be tired. What we're doing is we're doing a small amount of them to get you to be precise, accurate. What I mean by that is your hip is turning. If you have good extension on your kicks, your hands are up. They stay up, getting with the right part of your foot, okay, and you're landing the way that you should be landing. All right, this time we're going to go to side kick. All right, so make your fighting stance, hands up. Now we're going to do side kick, land, pull our foot back. When you land, I want you to land as much as far sideways as you can, all right, going for five. <laughs> hands up. Ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Four and five. Good. Switch your feet. Now other side. Hands up. Same. Sideways. Ready? One. Two. Three. See how far sideways I'm landing. So I'm not here. I'm actually here, and then I have to reset my foot. All right. Two more. Hands up, four, and back, last one, five, good, and back, switch sides, okay, so this time, roundhouse kick, what I want you to do is I want you to bend your knee twice using the flat part of the top of your foot, otherwise known as the shoelaces, but when you kick, I want you to try to land as much sideways as you can, kind of like you were doing your side kick. Reason why is because I want your hip to turn, okay? So we're gonna kick, land, and pull back. So we're gonna slow the count way down. I want you to really work on getting your hip turn. Hands up, roundhouse kick, ready, one. I'm landing sideways, and now step back. Let's go again, two, sideways, and now step back. Let's go again, three, good, step back, Four, and step back. Now, in the fifth one, what I'm going to show you is if we were doing Sege Hyung Sambu, working our roundhouse kicks, we were doing three in a row, I wouldn't stay sideways. I would have to readjust my stance to do the next kick. So in the fifth one, watch my feet after you get done kicking and watch how I reset. So my hands are up. I'm going to kick, land sideways, and I just kind of slide it over. This way, my next foot is ready to go, all right? Other side now, same thing, roundhouse kick. Remember, we're landing sideways. Ready, one, two, make sure you're sideways. Ready, three, two more, four, good, hands up, eyes up. Last one, five, and back. All right, Chibi, come on attention. And down. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the opening set of all three forms. So it's block, punch, block, punch. It doesn't matter whether – I know that Facebook sometimes inverts your left and your right. It doesn't matter because we're just going side to side. So, look, we're going to do this. Just watch. I'm going to go low block, punch. Low block, punch. Low block, punch. So all I'm doing is working on the first turn, right? Because if I was starting the form, it would be 
low block, punch, other side low block, punch, and then I would set up to do my kicks. But I want to work on that part back and forth so you guys have it. All right, what we also might work on is just the turning section after the kick. Okay, so focus, focus, focus. Let's see what we got here. Who is that? Okay, cool. Very good. Here we go. Come attention. Engine B. Ah! Put one hand up. I don't care which one it is. I'm going to my left first. Okay? So from here, I'm going to block. One. All right, step punch. Two. Now I look. I step back, block, and punch. Good. Next, we're going to do this for six or seven reps. Ready? Step back, block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. Other side, block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. Other side, block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. Go again. Step back, block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. Other side, block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. Two more. Other side, block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. Last one, other side block. Hey. Step punch. Hey. And should be. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do high block and high punch. So let's talk about our punching, low, middle, and high. Okay. First things first, put your hands up, curl your fingers down, make a fist. When I'm punching, I'm punching with these two knuckles. One, two. These two here. Look, stream close up. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Good. Stream close up. Oh, you want some of that? Okay, so look, when I punch, I drive my knuckles. I also don't have my thumbs here. Wrap it under, okay? Don't grab it, wrap it under your fingers. All right, so low is groin. That looks like I'm punching down. Center is dungeon or solar plexus. Looks like I'm punching down slightly. High is here, it's my philtrum, right here. This little button under your nose that you go, shh, that's your philtrum, okay? So this time we're going to be high block and high punch. All right, keep your hands down by your side. To me, all right, high block. Summon my key, summon who's your credit. One, high block. Step high punch. Hey. Good. Now the other side. Look first, high block. Now high punch. Other side, block. High block. High punch. Good. Other side, high block. High punch. Good. Other side. High block. High punch. Other side. Hey. High block. High punch. Two more. Other side. Hey. High block. And high punch. Hey. Good. And Jim B. Good. Next one into out block. Fighting stance. This is going to be a little bit different. We want to sit when we do our, our in the out block. So when I do this block, I'm not taking a step forward with my front foot. So from here, I'm not going like this. Watch, sit, it's different. So I'm not going out because that drives my weight forward. I wanna sit and just turn my foot. So I wanna sit into my stance, okay? There's a lot going on with the blocking, okay? But I really want you to get this fighting stance, front stance thing down. Feet together, hands down by your side and trippy. All right, here we go. Cross your hands. I like to do it so the back of my knuckles touch. This one turns, this pulls straight back, and I'm going to sit. Ready? One. Good. Now, both knees are bent, but this leg is bent more. Now, step, punch, front stance. Boom. I cross the back of my hands. I look. I sit. Both legs are bent. This one's bent more. Step, punch. Good. Look. Touch my hands, make my block chamber. One. I'm sitting again. Both legs are bent. This one's bent more. Step, punch. Other side. One, sitting, bent more, step punch. Good, let's do two more. Cross, look, sit, bent more, step punch. Last one, cross, look, bent more, and step and punch. Boom. Good, and chin base. Good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do um, something really simple. We're going to do Sega Hanging Elbow, but we're going to do it slow and we're going to work on the turns because Sega Young Ilbu, Ibu, and Sambu is our eye pattern forms. They all have the same amount of steps. They all step the same way. The differences are the blocks, the punches, 
and the kicks are different in the forms, okay? Well, we're going to do the first form because the first form is the most basic because we're not working on the new material right now. We're working on your turns. We're working on making the first form better, which will make the second better and the third better, all right? So if you can get a hamstring by your side, this is my left. If it's not your left, go the other way. All right, here we go. And chin me. Ah! Sick day, young yoga. Here we go. And low block, front stance. One. Remember, in my front stance, this leg is bent, back leg is straight. Step punch. Good. Look and block. Step and punch. Remember, we just did that part. Now my hands come up and I shift. I'm going to do my three front kicks. Ready? One. Two. On the third one, give me a key up. Now I'm going to sweep my back leg. Sweeps, unwind. Now step and punch. This is the top of my eye. Turn, block, meaning the letter I, capital. Front leg is bent. Step punch. Hands up. Fighting stance. Three good kicks. Ready? One, two. Third one, key up. Oh, yeah. Next movement is my sweep. This leg is sweeping. Sweep, block, step, punch. Other side, block, and punch. Oh, yeah. And two big. Good. So after my third kick, my sweep, we're going to work on just the sweep. When we work on the sweep, my left leg has to be back. Because in the forms, I kick right leg, left leg, and then right leg again. Right leg is in front, left leg is back. So let's do this a couple of times. Fighting stance, right leg in front, left leg in back. This leg should be my left leg. If it's not your left leg, make it your left leg. Hands up. We're going to practice the sweep and or low block. Ready? One. Good. Go back to your fighting stance. Hands up. Let's go for five. Let's go again. Ready? Two. Good. Fighting stance. Let's go again. Right here. Three. Good. Two more. Hands up. This leg. This is my left. Step back. Last one. Hands up. Left leg. And go. Good. And chin dip. Nicely done. So you can practice that. So you can practice your forms without having a ton of room. All right. Master Claus, I believe we're at time. All right, guys, good job. I know some of the littles, I was watching you on the uh, on the Overwatch there. I know you were having a hard time with it. It's okay. You're moving. You're practicing your blocks and everything like that. That is good stuff. Remember to get the curriculum you need. Sign up for the private lessons. They are free. We've got like 10 staff members teaching them. The link, if you didn't already get it in an email, hey, it's on Facebook. It was sent out in emails. The link is there for private lessons. There's a ton of us doing them. That's how you get the new curriculum right now, okay? So please use that resource. Okay, real quick. If you did not get your belts from Iron Circle on Saturday morning, okay, we had them out there between 9 and 10. I'm going to have Mr. Iozzi put them out on Friday night. So they will be out there between 5.30 and 6.30. The table will be out there. If you did not get your belt, you have an opportunity to get your belt and your water bottle at that point. So swing on by and grab your belt Friday night if you had not previously for the month of April, I'm sorry, March and April, and then um, we'll get May's testing list out just as soon as we can. Okay, three up, good and up. Right hand up on three, Hana Tool, set, I'm two. Two. You guys who use that as a warm up, we are gonna go with the 5.30 class in less than a minute. So welcome aboard you guys coming in for 5.30. Anyone from the beginner class, you're welcome to hang out too. If you wanna try the hard stuff, it's up to you. It's not really hard, just, you know, more than you've learned so far, but you're welcome to do it anyway. No problem. I think he can handle it. Josh can handle it. Josh Schwartz can handle it. Right, Josh? Welcome aboard 530 class. It's time to go. This is for green and brown belts, all ages. Anyone from the first class, you are welcome to hang out and uh, and give it a shot. No problem at all. We're, you're welcome to be here. And if you're using it as a warm up for the six o'clock class, 
Good on you. Ready to go. Anything, sir? Maybe. All right. Turn up. Young Abe. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with the student creed. Let me just remind you guys, especially the ones I can see on Zoom. Sure. Looks like we got a bunch of people uh, in on, on Facebook now. There's 10 on there. Nice. Cool. Um, the student creed is really important. So when we're doing the student creed, you shouldn't be doing like a little uh, Irish dance in place or anything like that. Back up straight, hands behind the back, and repeating after me. This is important. This is a promise that you're making to basically everybody in civilization that you're doing karate to make yourself a better person, to help the people around you, improve the world around you. Serious stuff. So please be respectful when we're doing the creed. All right. Trip. Jung Yen. And Chun B. Tip. Hands behind the back. Student creed with me. I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or physical health. Part two, I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Part three, I will use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man never to be abusive or offensive. Last part, we are a black belt school. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We're on a quest to be our best. Tong Su. Hey, turn it up, Kyung Yi Bao. All right, guys, we're going to start out doing combinations. We're going to do them in stances tonight. We're going to concentrate mainly on front stance and horseback stance for now, okay? So some of the combos will actually have two stances in them. So especially green belts coming in, I want you to make sure you're doing your stances properly, okay? Everyone knows what the front stance is looking like by now if you're in this class. You've been doing the world forms, front leg bent, back leg locked out straight. Horseback stance, nice and even, toes pointing straight ahead. So we'll be doing a lot of one stance into another stance, okay? We're not going to go any more than two or three in one direction. If you're really cramped for a room and you can't get three reps out of it, just jump in place, okay? So the first combination, we're going to start out. We're just going to do one block. We're going to do Hadamaki. We're going to do low block and front stance coming forward, and then we're going to add to it on the second part. Okay, so left side first. Step in the front stance, cross pull apart, and tip. Back up straight, tuck that back hand in. Ready, go. Hey, ready, go. Good, all right, let's back it up. One more time, and I want you to start with the opposite side now. So if you did your left side first, do your right side. Ready, one. Good, cross and pull apart, two. Cross and pull apart, three. All right, great job, guys. Now, from there, we're going to do Haramaki, followed by Chungdam Kung Kyo. So this is all going to be in front stance, two techniques. Low block, one. Everybody step into your low block. And now don't step again. Keep your stance right where it is, but punch with the other hand. Now the hand that's out is going to block next. Ready, step, and low block, one. Fire the punch off the other hand, two. Good. Ready, and go. Low block, one. Step and punch two. I'm not sure who's putting their knuckles right in the camera, but they certainly aren't training. And back it up again. All right. You do know we can see them, right? All right. Now, next technique. We're going to do low block again, but it's going to be in a horseback stance. So cross and pull apart, get into horse stance, and low block one. So your body's facing sideways, right? Your body's facing sideways, but your block's going straight ahead. Now from here, don't step. I want you to slide to a front stance and do a reverse punch too. Okay? Ready? Let's gonna step into a horse stance one, shift into a front stance two. So you're only stepping forward once, you're changing your stance. You're going in the horse stance, okay? Come back here, you're going to horse stance and then front stance, okay? Core stance, and then front stance. All right, so come on back. Let's go to Chun B. Start with the left side. Ready, low block, core stance, shift and punch. Okay, ready, step, low block, core stance. Now shift your stance to front stance, backhand punch. Good. Step, horseback stance, low block, shift and punch. 
All right, good job. Let's back it up and do that one one more time. Ready, start with the opposite side this time. Ready, and go. Horse stance, front stance, and go. Horse stance, and front stance, go. Horse stance, and front stance. Okay. Gotcha. All right, let's back it up a little bit here. Back it up. And Chumbi. Okay, next we're going to go horse stance, front stance again. This time when we do the horse stance, we're going to do side block, inside, outside block, button, horse stance. So it looks like this from the side. I'm in a horse stance, but I'm blocking. If I'm looking this way, I'm blocking this way. Okay, so that's the first part. So everybody step out with your left foot, big horse stance, cross, pull apart, do a good block. Make sure your back hand is tight. Step again, we're doing just the block. Step again, we're doing just the block. Good, back it up. One more time, start with the other side this time. Ready, just the block, horse stance. Just the block, horse stance. Just the block, horse stance. All right, now we're gonna add a reverse punch in there again. So we're gonna be changing from that horse stance to a front stance, just like we did in the last technique. The only difference is you're doing a different block. So we step out, inside, outside block, you're in the horse stance. Now, shift and punch, good. Step, inside, outside block, shift and punch. Step, inside, outside block, shift and punch, good. And back it up. All right, let's do it again from Chun B. Strong key up now, start to put some power into it. If you're starting to get the hang of the, of the rhythm here, put a little power into it. Ready, block and punch. Ready, go, block, punch. Ready, go, block and punch. Okay, look like we're doing okay there. All right, let's back it up. Okay, next technique. Now we're gonna go side punch horseback stance. So chamber up your punch, step in the horse stance, drive the punch through. And now shift in and reverse punch, opposite hand. Chamber the hand up, step through, punch. Shift and reverse punch. Chamber up, step through, punch. Shift and reverse punch. Okay, let's bring it back. Try that from the top. Ready and hot on. Punch, shift, toe. Punch, shift, set. Punch, shift. Good, and back up. Do it again. Start with the opposite side this time. Ready? Ah! One, two, toe. One, two, set. One, two. Okay, good job, and back it up. All right, guys. Now, this time we're going to pull in the fighting stance. So we're going to go front stance to fighting stance. Going to be the same technique. They're both going to be low block, both hot on my key. But I want you to concentrate on are the stances. Again, if you've got a green belt by now, you know what a front stance looks like. You know what a horse stance looks like. And from World Form Three, you know what the cat stance looks like or the fighting stance. What will Josh say? Okay, you should know what that looks like by looks looks like by now, right? So we're going to be starting in the fighting stance and then going into the front stance. So here we go. Low block in fighting stance. Cross and pull apart. One. And now cross again and go down to the front stance. Two. Okay, take a step. Cat stance. Low block. One. Cross and pull apart. Drop all the way down. Two. Bring it up. Cat stance. Low block. One. Drop all the way down in the front stance. Two. Okay, good. Back it up. Like my Rodriguez. Family is doing great there. I would expect no less. Guys are awesome. Ready? One, two. Good. Other side now. Ready? Toe. One, two. And set. One, two. Good job. Back it up. One more time. Full speed, full power. Ready? Ha! -ha. One, two. Toe. One, two. Set. One, two. And back it up. Okay. Again, we're going to go from fighting stance in the front stance. And this is going to be Hara Sudomaki followed by Yuk Su. 
So you're doing three techniques this time. But easy peasy. You got this, especially the new greenies. Not that hard. So how does Sudamaki? is low knife hand in cat stance. Okay? Same stance that you did in roll form three, but you're bringing both hands together. Back hand is open, palm is up. Lead hand is open, palm is down. Fingers are tight, thumb is tucked. Swing them together, swing them down. Now you're going to go on the front stance and cross in your front stance. Front and front stance, you do an open knife hand block one and fire a reverse punch two. So we step in the cat stance, low knife hand one, cross, pull apart, go on the front stance, block and punch two. Okay, let's do that again slow. Ready? You don't change feet on this. The one foot stays in front the whole time. So if you step with your left foot and make the, the knife hand good, now take that same foot and just go further, cross, wave goodbye to the bad guy, and punch. Step opposite side, low, cross, pull apart, block, and punch. All right, let's bring it back. Everybody's in Chun B. Start with your left side first. Ready? Hana. Low knife hand. Yuxu. Toes. Low knife hand. Yuxu. Set. Low knife hand. Yuxu. All right. Good work. Back it up. Back it up. Ready? And ha. One, two. Toe. One, one, two. Set. One, one, two. All right, good job. Back it up. One more time. Try and start. If you've been starting with one side the whole time, use the other. Try and bounce back and forth. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hana. One, two. Toe. One, one, two. Set. One, one, two. All right, good job. Back it up. Back it up. Okay, last one we're going to cover for tonight. We're going to start in fighting stance again. We're going to start with Chungdang Sudamaki. So it's the same as we did before with here, except you're going to come up here. Make a straight line with your arm. You don't want to have like this snake thing going on here, like snake style kung fu, walk like an Egyptian, hand puppets. Hello, how are you? Kind of thing. We don't want that. We want a wall of defense, right? Straight up and down, nice and tight. So step in, going to be one, okay? And then your front hand is going to high block and reverse punch too. So step forward with your left foot, fighting stance, center knife hand, cross, high block, and punch. Step in the fighting stance, knife hand, cross, high block, and punch. One more. Step in the fighting stance, cross, high block, and punch. So that same hand defends two times. The one time it's defending in the open knife hand. Then you bring it back as a high block, okay? Come on back, left side. Ready, and ha -na. One, one, two. Toe, one, one, two. Set, one, one, two. Good, back it up. Guys are looking good out there. Go with the right side this time. Ready, ha -na. One, one, two. Toe, one, one, two. Set, one. One, two, good, and bring it back. All right, one more time. Other side now, ready, hana. One, one, two, toe. One, one, two, set, one, one, two. All right, and bring it back. Okay, so one of the best ways to practice, and also kind of one of the worst ways, one of the best ways to practice is practice your blocks, techniques in front of a mirror. The mirror doesn't lie. It tells you everything. You don't have a mirror. You probably have got a phone or a computer with got a camera on it. I know because I can see you and you can see me. So tape yourself doing these. Watch your backhand. See what it's doing. Is it always like this? Sometimes is it hanging down dead? Is sometimes does your front stance look like this instead of being down here? Sometimes your fighting stance look like this instead of this? Check yourself. It will help you improve. It's a little rough sometimes, but it doesn't lie, but it will help you to get better. Okay? Here we go. 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 All right. So we're going to try to get to as much as we can today. Um, there are people that have just tested and have new rank. 
I know that there are arms that came up to green. So <clears throat> I want to work on the opening set of Pyongyang Nidam back and forth. I don't care which side you start on because it repeats. All right, but it's important how we do it. So if you get together, hands down by your side, and should be ah! good. Now, whenever I do this, okay, before we start a form, I'm prepping my hands. I wouldn't do this. This is not adding a movement to the form, all right? For instance, when I'm telling you what to do for Pyongyang Nidam, you're going to bring your hands here. You're going to go one. All right, that's the first movement. If I were to do this live time myself, it, it is one. Okay, so I'm not coming up and out, but this positions your hands properly. So we're going to do the block, uppercut defense, and then punch. And then we're going to do the other side. We're going to do it a couple of times. We're going to do it slow. All right, so from two position, hands here. Sink, high block. This is an inside-outside block, but I'm using this portion of my wrist, so my palm is turned away. Uppercut, pull back, and punch. I'm not doing a hammer fist here. Chamber my hands, look opposite direction. One, front hand down, uppercut, pull, punch. Remember, I'm not doing a hammer fist. The hammer fist would come this way. My punch wants to drive, so I have to twist my shoulder. Now, again, other side, hands here. Now, shift, fighting stance. Front hand down, uppercut. Twist, side punch. Okay, look here. One, front hand down, big uppercut, side punch. Good. Again, look, shift, wait. One, front hand down, big uppercut, twist, drive, side punch. Good. Let's do again. Look, chamber. One, front hand down. Big uppercut, side punch. Good, and chin big. Okay, the next portion of that form is my side kick. Okay, and the side kick portion is important for a number of reasons. First of all, you're throwing a side kick. We don't even need to talk about that. Don't even get me started about that, all right? But it also, depending on the way you do this, keeps you on center. So when you do a form, I want to start and stop in the same position. So you should always mark your position on the floor when you're practicing the whole form. All right, when I do this portion of the form, so I just did one, two, three. Then I go to the other side. One, two, three. My center is here, like if I have a shark fin on my head. If I step over here, now the shark fin is here. It's all the way to my right. It's too far out. So I want you to think about you're standing in a triangle. This is the base of my triangle. I want to take my left foot and step to the tip of the triangle. Then I pull my foot up for my side kick. Very important. Okay, so we're going to do that a couple of times, maybe three or four times and throw our kick. All right, also, the kick is mid to high. It's not low. Low is like hip joint or knee. Okay, middle is above the belt to the danjan. High is chest up all right so from here let's do this a couple of times so i'm here all right i step now from here i draw my leg up now i'm ready to kick i'm on one foot I look kick chop let's go again from here step draw my leg up i'm looking kick and chop three more times this takes a lot of balance to do this, and this is a good practice point. Step one, my leg is up. I also want to pick my eye point, so I'm looking at whatever I'm kicking at. Kick, chop, two more times. From here, step to the top of the triangle. Leg up, look, wherever I'm kicking. Kick, chop, last time. Step up. Look, kick, and then chop. All right, so the beginning and that port is critical. After that, I'm going to do my chops into my spear, okay? Do my four chops, and then start coming back. So we're all going to do it together. I'm going to be facing away from the camera. We're going to go slow, all right? Very, very slow. I'm going to do the whole form for those of you that know it. For those of you that don't, Follow along as best you can. But remember, this stuff is on the YouTube page, okay? It's also on the uh, for Iron Circle. 
of the World Tongue Show Association has also released it free to you because of this circumstance. All right? So, everybody together. Uh, in the room. Yeah, pretty good. All right, keep your hands down by your side. And to me. Aya! Move your slow. Hands here. One. Front hand down. Uppercut. Punch. Look. Other side. Boom. Front hand down. Uppercut. Punch. All right, I'm going to the top of the triangle now. So I step, pick up, side tip. Boom. Chop. Step, chop. Step. Chop. Now I'm going to spear. I push my front hand down. Spear. Ah! Sweep. Center. Step 45. Center. Step across. Center. Step out. Center. Step into my front stance. Inside outside block with my back hand. Kick. Punch. Block. Kick. Punch, step, two hand block, step back, low block, center, step 45 degrees, high block, other direction, low block, center, step 45 degrees, high block, and two big. Good. All right. So we started and ended in roughly the same place. All right. Next form. We're going to go back and forth because, again, the opening of this form is very important. So, Pyongan Samdan, all right? We're going to start with inside block. But remember, we sit, we don't step with this. What I mean by that is when I'm doing my fighting stance and it's the first movement of the form, I'm not going like this. See how my weight shifts to where I step? I don't want to do that. I want to sit. So, I'm still turning this foot, taking a very small step, but my weight is centered over my back leg. I'm on an inside block, all right? So from here, everybody together. Look, sit, one. Now, when I step, I want to make sure that I'm doing more than this, all right? So I'm going to do it at the camera on both sides so that you see, and then we'll go side to side. So from this position, one. As I step, one. I'm rocking out slightly, two, all right? So I give a little bit of a twist, not a ton, but a little bit. So from this position, I want to step one, two, a little bit of a twist. It's not do, do, because then it's all arms. I'm not using my body, all right? Same thing from the other side here. I step one, two, okay? A little bit of twist. Everything comes from here, whether it's kicking, blocking, punching. Your waist connects the two parts of your body that make the most power. So we're going to go from side to side. So feet together, hands down by your side. Jimmy, ah! All right, this side first. Look, sit, one. Step, one, two, other side, look, one, sit, step, one, two, look, we're going to go the other side again, one, remember, I'm stepping, but I'm sitting, my weight's not moving forward, one, two, look, pop, good, step, one, two, look, one, two, good, last one, look, Step one, two, good, and back to chimney. Okay, so the application of that, just to give you a breakdown, if I'm striking, okay, and all blocks, I would argue that all blocks in my front stance are strikes. So when I high block, I don't want to do this, okay, and absorb energy. When my high block, I'm going this way, or I'm going this way. I'm going to step out of whatever's coming straight down. If I'm advancing, though, boom. I'm attacking. I'm attacking what's ever up. So I'm not trying to absorb power. I'm trying to transfer power. There's a difference. I transfer power into whatever's coming at me. So if someone's doing their axe kick and I'm blocking like this, I would never use a high block against the axe kick. But hypothetically speaking, I'm not trying to stop the kick. I'm trying to break the tibia. I'm trying to break this portion of the bone when I'm doing that. Okay. We have the tiger crane. Do not block. We strike. Okay, everybody repeat it right now. In honor of Master Godwin, say it with me. We of the tiger crane do not block, we strike. What that means is everything that you do is striking. If I'm blocking, I'm striking whatever coming at me. I'm trying to destroy it in front of me. All right. 
Master Claus was laughing because that's old, old, old school. All right, here we go. Two minutes. Let's go again. Look. One. Step. One. Two. Other side. Look. One. Step. One. Two. Good. All right. We're running out of time. So we're going to do the form one time. Okay. I want you to follow with me if you can. If you're newly a pro, um, promoted to fifth cup green belt, this is you. All right. All right. I'm going to walk you through. We're going to go slow. Today. Uh, sit. Block. Step. One. Two. Other side. Block. Step. One. Two. Two hand block. Jungle Sung Sumaki. Fighting the front stand. Step spear. Now I'm going to spin. When I spin, I'm doing brief T stance. Back up my hand comes. Hammer fist, horse stance. Step through punch, front stand. Good. Turn. Defend. First two knuckles only on my belt. Outside crescent kick, elbow, back fist in a horse stance. So we were slow. Crescent kick, elbow, back fist, and back. Again. Crescent kick, elbow, back fist, and back. Again, crescent kick, elbow, back fist, and back. Step through, front stance, punch. Feet together, step out. We're almost in the position where we started. Step, spin, one. I'm elbowing and punching over my shoulder. Then I jump. Good. And chin bit. Very good, gang. I think that concludes it for today. We are just at time. Master Claus, I believe we're good. I'm coming, show. I'm coming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, everyone, for Cornerstone that came by um, over the weekend. When were we here? Friday. Friday. Yeah, we were here Friday night. It was, it was really cool to see some of you, even if it was just from the sidewalk. It was great seeing you guys. Um, there's a few of you that haven't picked it up yet. Call us when we're here. And uh, we'll put it out on the sidewalk for you while we're while we're in the building. Okay. You want to just set another night to have them do it while we're here, so like me at the same time. Say yeah. like Wednesday from like six to seven. Weather, weather okay. Permitting. There you go. Wednesday six to seven. We'll be here. We'll put it out in email and uh, whatnot. Yeah, later. Weather permitting, it'll be out there. So if you haven't got your belt or your stripe, the table will be out there. The water bottles will be out there. Stop by and grab one. Sounds good. And then again on uh, for Iron Circle, if you did not receive your belt between uh, five thirty and six thirty on. Friday, I'll have Mr. Iozzi put the table out so you guys can swing by and grab it. It'll be outside. All right. Cheerio. Jungie. Right hand up. Hot tool. Set. On the All right. Six o'clock class. We start in, in, uh, I've heard two minutes. never. Uh, less than two minutes. Less than two minutes for the six o'clock class to start. So if you use this as your warm up, take a little hit of water and get ready to rock. See you in a minute and a half or so. Tiger cream, right? We are the tiger crane, do not block, we strike. When the last time you heard that? Don't say five minutes ago. I took all the joy out of that now, didn't it? Yes, it did. Sorry. I counted the count.
What you, what you, what you want? What you want? Welcome aboard six o'clock class. If you've been here since five thirty, thanks for staying. You've been here since five. You're crazy, but we love you. Six o'clock class is for Red Belt. It is the advanced class. Adult students are welcome to be here. A reminder for new curriculum, you guys need to be signing up for the private lesson because we just can't cover everything. I mean, you can get those moves in private lessons too. Probably can. Yeah. yeah. It might happen. So, you know, just, just saying, just putting it out there. For new curriculum, you've got to get on the private lesson. It's like 10 instructors. There's no reason not to do it. And it's free for as long as we are banish it from uh, the rest of society. Banish it. Banish it. All right. Face here. Hurry up. Young A. All right, starting with student creed, right, Belton? No, just a reminder, the student creed, it, it, this is a promise. This is a, a promise we take seriously or we would have thrown it out of the curriculum a long time ago. Keep your promises. The promises are to make yourself better, help those around you get better, make the world around you get better. You don't practice martial arts so that you can be a wild bully or anything like that. So uh, with that in mind, when we're doing the student creed, I shouldn't see anyone seeing like doing the happy dance in the background, okay? All right, the face here, turn up. Turn your bow. Chun B, here, hands behind the back. Student creed, repeat after me. I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or physical health. Part two, I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Part three, I will use what I learned in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man never to be abusive or offensive. Last part, we are a black belt school. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We're on a quest to be our best. Tongue Tzu. All right, guys. So for the line drill portion tonight, the combinations that we're going to do are actually going to be little bits and pieces from some of your hyungs. So this will give you a chance to kind of work those kind of things. If you work the pieces and put them together, you got a better hole, right? So that's what we want to do. We want to improve your forms overall, your technique overall. So, so these combinations are going to kind of be hybrids of the forms. You can kind of guess what they are as we go along. So face here, turn up, turn me about, to be position. Okay. Again, we'll be doing them hand, hand tech, uh, hands line drill style. Sorry, I'm fumbling over my own words here. Moving forward. So if you can only move two or three steps forward, that's fine. Just back up and restart. If you're really jammed up and you're practicing in a phone booth, just keep jumping up and down in place. All right. Ready from Shumi position. The first one is going to be stepping in the front stance, Haramaki. And then you're going to pull back to Kukulkase, the fighting stance, and Cap Kwan. Okay. So from a side view, it's low block in front stance, cross pull apart, and back fist. Okay, here we go. Left side first, ready, and hana. Low block, pull back, back fist. Good. Make sure your arm is not bent up like this, right? You need extension on the back fist. You're, you're pulling out of an attack, drawing the attacker in, striking with the back fist, all right? Ready, and toe, opposite side, low block, pull back, back fist. Ready, set, one. Pull back. See if we get one more out of it. Ready? Net. One. Pull back. And back it up. Back it up. All right. So you should know that that's from Pyongan Chodan. That's one of the double moves from Pyongan Chodan in the beginning. It looks like someone's celebrating, or are they just holding their head like they have a headache? They're excited. All right. Good. Excited. It's good. All right. So that combination was from Pyongan Chodan. The next one is going to be two. This one stays in front stance. And it's going to be Haramaki, Chungang Sudamaki. So cross and pull apart one, back and two. Now it looks real simple, right? It's only two moves. But most people will do it incorrectly because what they'll do is they'll go one and then just wave the other hand two. Meanwhile, this thing is glued to their rib cage. You don't want it to be glued to the rib cage. Cross and pull apart on the first block. I rock my hips just a little bit here and come back for the second technique. So one, cross, pull apart, and two, okay? So make sure your hand isn't just married to the rib cage. Make sure you're crossing and pulling apart on both techniques. And make sure to get your hips so it doesn't have to be a wild, exaggerated, anything crazy like that. It's very subtle, but it helps you get more power into the technique. 
All right, here we go. Left side, ready, and one. Low block, knife hand. Two, three. Good, and back it up. Try the opposite side. Ready, and one. Two. Three. And if you're not pushing your stances, you really got to push your stance down. These are habits you're going to develop. If you develop the good habits now, you're going to be great. If we have to fix you six weeks before your black belt test because you make incorrect front stances habitually, that's going to be hard. It's really going to affect the way your success in that kind of thing. So push those stances down, okay? Push them down there. Get down there deep. Make sure that backhand is an absolute rock of a fist. All right, here we go. Next combo. It's going to be the trickier one. I'm going to show you from the side first. You'll all recognize it. You're going to start in fighting stance. Roll up. Double block. High block here. Inside, outside block here. High hand comes down. Does the uppercut. Other hand chambers on the rib cage. Fire out a new horse stance punch. Okay. Now, you've all done this in Pyong on Edan. You've probably never done it, or you've rarely done it coming forward as a line drill. So we're going to step with the left side first. Double up. Backhand is high. Uppercut. Lead hand does the side punch in the horse stance. All right. Now everybody take a step and put your hands back on your hips. Stay in the fighting stance. Bring it up. Backhand is up high. Uppercut. Lead hand on the hip, punching forward. Okay, step again. Hands come to the back hip. Bring it up. Uppercut. Chamber to the back hand, to the back rib cage, and punch forward. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Start with your right side this time. Step into a right side fighting stance. Double up. Make sure the back hand is up high. Uppercut, put your hand on your rib cage and punch. Step, hands swing to the back, up, double. Uppercut, chamber it, and step through and punch. And again, step off, double up, uppercut, and drive the punch in. So remember, you're only really moving forward one step, right? Your fighting stance, then you shift a little bit for the uppercut, then your horse stance. Your fighting stance, you shift a little bit for the uppercut, and you're in your horseback stance, okay? Let's do this combo one more time because this is one of the toughest ones for people. Don't get too frustrated if you're not nailing it tonight. You will get it. You just got to slow it down. Ready? Double it up. Uppercut. Horseback punch. Good. Opposite side. Step off. Double it up. Uppercut. Horse stance punch. One more time, step up, double it up, uppercut, horse stance punch. All right, let's back it up. How's it looking in there, sir? All right, cool. Okay, next from the same form, okay? It's going to be a little bit, obviously you don't do this all the way through this form, but it's an unusual move because this is the first time in a form where you lead with a block from the rear hand. Every form you've done up until now, your front hand is doing the block, right? We get the Pyongyang eat on, and that changes. And the form after we, we come up the middle, we did our spirit hand, we did our fourth knife hand, we do that reverse block, okay? And then step, punch, and block, and then and punch, and so on. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do the reverse hand, punch, and block. So from Chumbi, I'm going to have you step forward with your left foot, but block inside, outside with your right hand, okay? And now step, and I'm going to have you punch first, punch, then block, step again, punch, then block, step again, punch, then block. And it might feel a little bit weird because your lead, your hand that is, uh, is doing the technique is in the back. It's not in the front. All right, so left foot first. You're going to punch with your right hand. And then block. Step again, punch the left hand and block. Step again, punch, block. Step again, punch and block. 
All right, let's take it back. If your front foot has the same hand, same hand as same foot around, you're doing it incorrectly, okay? Again, watch my stance, right? This is my front foot. This is my front hand. It's parked on my hip. This hand's doing all the work. When I step, I punch. Now this hand's doing all the work, the leg that's behind me. So make sure you're getting that right. Back to Chun B. Here we go. Right foot stepping, left hand attacking. Now ready and one, punch, lock. Two, punch, block. Three, punch, block. And if you can do it in place, jump and switch it. Punch and block. All right, good work. Back it up, back it up. All right, next. Next is going to be Sung Sumaki. What we're going to do is going to be a double block. We're going to do it out of front stance for now, okay? So make it a little bit easier. In the in the form, in Chagan Samdan, you do it in fighting stance. Right now, we're going to do it in front stance just to make it a little bit easier. So front hand does an inside-outside block. Back hand does a low block. And then you're going to switch. Boom. Then we step, cross, and pull apart. Front hand does the inside-outside block. And the back hand does it. The other hand's doing a low block. Okay? Step again. Front hand does the inside-outside. Other hand is low. And switch. Okay, bring it back here. Take it back a little further. Sun glare is vicious, huh? All right, ready? Cross, pull apart, double block one, and then switch it. All right? Step, cross underneath, double two, switch, cross and pull. Ready? Three. Good. If you have the space, let's do one more. One, two. Sorry, Zoom, trying to keep it in your screen there. All right, let's bring it back. One more time on that one. Ready? And one. Make sure. Pop that low block, right? Ready? Two. One, two. Three. One, two. And four. One, two. All right. Not bad. I think we're looking looking okay there, sir. Uh, oh, Mitch, stop dancing. Master McBroad is watching you. You won't be virtual forever. You're going to have to look us in the eye soon. Okay, next. Who's that? Uh, Aiden. Whoever Aiden is, get off the couch. All right. Next one's going to be a three-part combo. Moving forward, it's going to be three steps. We're going to do it a bunch of times. Do it a bunch of times. So you're going to start with Kwan Su Kung Kyuk. So everybody extend right foot, right hand, and spear hand. Now, you're going to turn your hand, bring your elbow up, spin around to a horse stance and do a hammer fist, and now step through and punch into a front stance. Okay? Come on back again. We'll do it from the right side first. Step in spear hand, one. Okay? Turn it around. Hammer fist, two. Step and punch, three. Okay? Now, not a big deal. Um, I'm not sure if... Uh, if Master Mayberna teaches you the, the elbow up behind the head or not, that's great. And that's perfectly fine. Um, I've learned it both ways. Right now, this is just the way I'm going to have you do it for the combo. So spear, turn it over, spin, hammer fist, horse stance, step, and punch. Now, when you do this combo, here's what I want you to be mindful of. Look at a line on the floor. I'm lucky I got a mat here with a line going straight to the computer monitor. What I don't want to do is go one, two, three, and end up way off the side, right? Spear hand, I'm right on that line, I'm right on that line. And my stance does not waver, it doesn't get super narrow or anything. Keeping good stances, but keeping a straight line. Okay, so from Chumbi, let's try that. Right side first, ready, spear hand, Hana. Spin hammer fist two, step and punch, set. Okay, good. Back it up. Let's do it again. Ready. Hana. Spin toe. Hit set. Looking around. Pretty good. Okay. One more time. Right hand, right foot. Ready. Go. Hana. Toe. Set. All right, guys. Good work. If you feel like your balance is all wonky, Here's what you have to do. Slow down. 
if your balance is, you feel yourself wobbling, right? Slow down. Take the time slow so you can practice on your own. Make sure, okay, I'm in a good front stance. I'm not going to move till I have my front stance. Now I'm going to spin around. Okay, I'm not going to move till my horse stance is stable. Step, lock your punch out, make the stances count. All right, now we're going to try it on the opposite hand. It's going to mess with your head a little bit. So left foot, step, stab, spin, hammer fist, step, and punch. Okay, come on back. This is knowing your form is inside out, literally. Left foot, left hand, one. Okay, drive it down, spin around, hammer fist, two. Step and punch, three. One more time on my count. Ready? And one. Drop, spin, two, step, punch, three. All right, let's do it with some speed and power now. Here we go. Ready? Hana. One, two, three. Good. Come on back. And toe. One, two, three. Good. Reset. Sad. One, two, three. Bring it back. And net. One, two, three. All right, good work. And even just doing that with you guys, I can tell I haven't done this combination a little bit. I feel a little bit funky on that left side too, so it's okay. All right, one more. Now this time from Chun B. Step in the front stance. We're going to step left side first and do hammer fist strike. Coming straight across. Hammer fist hits with this part of the hand right here, right? Coming across in front stance. So, Chun B, in the front stance, hammer fist. Then you're going to open your hand and do pal coup, elbow strike. And then you're going to do front, I'm sorry, side kick and land in fighting stance. Okay? Come on back. Ready, hammer fist. Open, elbow strike, side kick. Land in fighting stance, okay? Now from fighting stance, you're going to reach out again, hammer fist, open up, elbow strike, side kick, land in fighting stance, okay? Advanced combos, guys. Embrace it. Let's go. Come on back. Chun B. Left side first, hammer fist, elbow, yup chagi, land in stance. Ready, two, hammer fist, elbow, side kick, land in stance, hands up. All right, back it up. Do it again. Ready, and ha -na. One, two, three, four. All right, ready, toe. One, two, three, four. All right, let's bring it back. Get one more run up the middle. Ready? Left side. One. One. I'm sorry. Hammer fist. Elbow. I messed that one up on you guys. My apologies, too. And two. One. Two. Side kick and land. Yes. Curtains, Mugsy. Curtains. All right, team. Face me. Turn it up. Kyung Val. If you work on improving the pieces, and that includes your kicks, too, everything comes together in the hole, it will make everything better. Okay, that's why line drills are great. Individual exercises are great. Okay, face up on the main road. I turn it up. Stop on the main road. Work. Thank you, sir. Oh, I want you to turn on. Stand by, crew. Okay, good. Very good. All right, back to zoom. Good. Okay. I almost had a power outage. That would have been bad. All right. So what we're going to do is I noticed that there's a lot of uh, people that are under the rank of red belt um here which either means that you didn't get your newly acquired red belt or whatever so we're going to start with some brown belt forms today and then work up all right good review anyway because all these moves repeat all right so invariably when i'm doing kung on sadan um i get confused sometimes around the side kicks and i'll go right into kung sanku why because a lot of the material repeats and it's easy to get lost same thing with kung on odon and basai there are similar movements in the forms so unless you do them a lot, it's easy to get lost, all right? So we're going to go through Pyongan Sadan slowly. I'm going to walk you through it, all right? Jersey needs some aloe vera, sir. Does she? Nice. 
Apparently some fun camera. All right, here we go. All right, trip. All right, this is my left. If it's not your left, go to your left. All right, here we go. My count. Ready? One. Good. Getting on side on. Two. Good. Step low X. Step two hand block. Good. Get ready. Chamber for side kick. Shift. Step. Chamber for side kick. Ready. Up. Good. Now from here, I'm going to block and I'm going to chop. One. Now I front kick. Jump back kick. Turn. One, two. Kick. Punch, punch. Good. Go in. One, two. Kick. Punch, punch. Draw back, two hand block. Step, two hand block. Step, two hand block. Reach in, grab shoulders. Now I'm going to knee. When I knee, I close my fists. Turn, chop, step, chop. Good, two days. All right, complete disclosure. When I got to the sidekick section, after just saying that, I had to stop myself from going into the four center chops that's in Kung Sung Goon after that, the, um, those sidekicks. Because you always practice predominantly your highest form most. So you have to review everything. All right, Kenyan Odon. For those, this is still brown belt form. For some of us that have not done it though, we're gonna go side to side and just work on this first two movements because it's inside block, three quarter punch. All right, you're at the red belt level or high brown belt, which means that you're at the high intermediate level or the low advanced level. What that means is you should know how to center your weight right now. So when I do my fighting stand, I don't step. Watch, naturally watch what my body does when I step. Even a little bit. See how my weight goes forward? Fighting stances do not do that. Fighting stances drop my weight. They center my weight. Boom. So I'm sitting. One. Sitting. Two. Sitting. Three. Throwing my hips back and forth. All right. So what we're going to do is inside block three-quarter punch, and then we're going to step and pull through inside block, three-quarter punch, back and forth. So if you don't know the form yet, this is your opportunity to start learning the beginning of it, all right? We're going to go this way, all right? One, I just dropped. Now three-quarter punch, two. Now I step in the direction that I'm punching, so I'm punching this way and I step this way. Now other side, one, two, step, Boom. Now, this is not the next movement in the form. We're going back this way just to practice the movement. Step one, two, step pull. Good. Other side. One, two, step pull. Good. Other side. One, two, step pull. Good. Other side. One, two, step pull. Good. Other way, look. One, two, step pull. Good. Okay. We're going to go through the form. All right. Here's the deal, though. When we go through the form, if you don't know the whole form, follow along as best you can. If you go to Facebook, you can rewatch this. Also, the YouTube page. Also, the World Tongue Show has released all of this stuff. If you want to learn your next form, set a private appointment. It's the best way to do it. All right. All right. I'm going to face away. We're going to go through the form. One time, I'm going to talk you through it. Get your hands down by your side and chin me. Ah! Here we go. Inside block. Three quarter punch. Step forward. Other side. Inside block. Three quarter punch. Step forward. Step two hand block. I'm going to step front stance. Low X. Pull back. High X. Low X. My fists are closed. High X. My fists. My hands are open. My right hand is on top. All right. I'm going to pull my hands to the side, back leg comes up, spear, step down, punch, key up. Ah! Turn, block. I'm going to crescent kick, low block, backhand, kick the hand, elbow, step back, two, step back, pull. Okay, so here I'm in my two hand block, I step out, pull. T stance, fighting stance. Jump. Ah, low X block. Right hand on top. Step two hand block. 
Spear, backhand, um, palm up. Okay, flat spear hand, jump one, two. Pull. Big circle. Pull. Twist to T-stand. Spear. Pull. Yeah. Bottom. Okay. So the movement that I want to demonstrate for you is the low X, high X, and then this movement. All right. So look, my hand's on top. This is my right hand. I'm going to pull my hands to here. Watch my hands, how they rotate. Here, it's almost like I'm holding a ball. Boom. 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 Then I spear and punch. All right? Gang on Oda. When I'm coming up the floor, I'm going to X, high X. Right hand. Right hand on top. Here. Roll, spear, step down, punch. All right? Next will be Basai. So if you don't know Basai, you're welcome to follow along, okay? The first movement is an eight count. What I want to do is I want to go over with you Basai Chun Bei. All right, so from here, come attention and Chun Bei. When I do Basai Chun Bei, and just let you guys know, this is my right hand, this is my left hand. This is the left foot. One, I grab my left thumb with my right hand and I wrap my fingers around my hand, like this. Down, that's it. I've seen some pretty ornate chun bees. Do what you're going to do for competition. Understand the longer you're on one foot, the bigger the opportunity is for you to bobble. So I like to be precise. So feet together, watch. Chun bee. Out. In. Down. Okay, the first movement is an eight count. So I'm going to come up on my side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My shoulders, I want my shoulders square. Okay. This is in my center. My fingers do not exceed my fist. All right, so we're going to go through it. I'm going to talk you through it. All right, it's 52 movements. It's going to be a lot of talking, but I want to make sure that if you don't know it, you can kind of follow along. And if you do know it, you get some reinforced practice with it. So if you can get your hands down by your side, you'll be ah! outside your knee. Up and down. Right, here we go, like that. Hey! Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Now I step inside block, other side, inside block, turn, outside block, inside block, pick up, break, outside block, inside block, sit. Okay, so we're at this movement right here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this mirror of the camera from here. I spear, punch, block. This foot has to be on the ground. I see a lot of you guys doing this on the ball of your foot. No bueno. All right. So from here, spear, punch, block. I turn, punch, block. My feet are flat when I do that. All right. So back to here. From here, spear, punch, block, punch, block. Good. Step, turn, chop. The reason why I do that is to stay on my center. Step, chop. Okay, step up, step back. So that's three chops. So after I come out of here, step, turn, chop. Step up, chop. Step up, and immediately step back. So my right leg is now back from here. I push down and up, all right? I pre pivoted my hip. I made my window, my defense, okay? I'm going to side kick and then chop other direction. Go from here, I kick, and then I chop. One more time, from the window, from here. Push down, up, I'm on the side kick this direction, and then chop. Step, chop, pull in, two, 12, meaning two inches, 12 inches. Down, double quando, hammer fist. Jumping punch, steer. Pull. Big circle. Now I'm going to twist. Press it kick. Low rock. Backhand. Next I'm kicking the hand. Kick. And hit. So I'm not actually hitting, but you can. Pop, pop. Okay, fifth. Two, three. Shift. You punch. Pull back. Left side. Right side. 
Crescent kick. You punch. Pull back. Right side. Left side. Crescent kick. You punch. Here are my sweeps. Now I'm on the ball of my back foot. Boom. One, two. Other side, ball of back foot. One, two. Step halfway, turn and chop. Get back onto my center line. Chop, step in front, chop, and then up. Back to chimney. Okay? There is a lot going on there. So for those of you that know it, I want you to be able to review it. All right? For those of you that don't know it, you have to set a private appointment so we can break it down into pieces for you. All right? So uh, one time, because we do have some time before Master Claus comes out and does his, uh, you know, philosophy deal. Let's break it down, if you don't know the form, to where you can get to uh, and work at. So what we'll do is we'll do it a couple times up to the sidekick. That's a good place to stop. There's a lot of meat in here, so make sure that you watch back and forth. Okay, so from here, let's do a couple times. Too big. Okay, by side, too big. Hands up, grab that left thumb, and down. First movement, remember, is an eight count. Right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, boom. Now, inside block, one. Inside block, two. Now I turn away. Outside block, inside block, break. Outside block, inside block, shit. Spear, okay? Punch, block. Punch, block, step, turn, chop, step, chop, step up, chop, step back, chop, press with my back hand, one, straight up two. My hip is pre-pivoted now for my side kick. I'm going to side kick and chop opposite direction. Side kick and chop. All right, let's go back and do that two more times, and then we'll see if we can't fit in the hunting. All right, so here we go again. We'll pick up the speed a little bit this time. Chimbay, five side chimbay. Down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inside, inside. Outside, inside. Break, outside, inside. Shift, spear, punch, block, punch, block. Step, turn, chop. Step, Chop, step up, step back, down and up, side kick, yeah. chop. Let's go back. This time we'll do it at speed, okay? Here we go. Two big, yeah. Last side, two big. Ready, chop. Very good. All right. Last thing you're going to do with me tonight, we'll do a little Nahanchi. Okay. Nahanchi moves side to side. All right. So we go right side on Nahanchi first. So from here, I'm going this way. I'm going to do it near image you, which means that we're still going this way, but I'm starting on my left. All right. So Nahanchi, Basai is. Left leg. Now, how is right leg? Or chunbi. All right? So from here, chunbi. Oh, yeah. Now, remember, I'm doing things near you. Okay? So this is my left leg. It should be your right leg. One, two, three. Watch again. One, two, three. First movement. Step over, down. Foot, two. This is like a backhand. Elbow, shift, low block, punch. Now I'm going to block with the hand that's out. Step, block, punch down, out, in. Okay, foot, across. When I cross, I twist. Foot, across, shift, you punch. Big circle. 
shift. One, two, block with the hand that's out. Step, boom, okay? Punch down, out, in, foot, across, foot, across, shift, punch. All right, so we're going to do that again. This time I'll do it with my glasses on. All right, here we go. Chumbe! Okay. Nahanshi chumbe. Remember, I'm doing this with my right leg. One, two, three. Mirror you. I'm going to my left. You're going to your right. One. Foot. Three. Shift. One, two, step and block with the hands out. Punch down, out, in. Foot, across. Foot, across. Shift, you punch. Both palms down. Big circle. Smack, shift. One, two, step and block. Punch down, out, in. Foot, across. Foot, Push, shift, punch. Boom. All right, all right, all right. Very good. Come with attention and bow. All right. You're up, so. Ah, face here. Turn it up. Okay. All right, guys. First one for one minute is going to be four shoulder taps and a single push up. So let me demonstrate that for you here. Push up position. Wow, it's bright out here. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. All right. So I'm a good plank position. One, two, three, four. Single push up. One, two, three, four. Single push up. Okay. Here we go. One minute of that. Ready. And begin. That sunburn, maybe Tara shouldn't smack her shoulders too hard. Just saying. Jersey tomato. You are one quarter of the way through. When you absolutely can't do it anymore, then you can default down to your knees and do them from your knees. 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Under fifteen. Under ten. And time. All right, gang. Good job on that one. At least I'm assuming it's a good job, especially Facebookers. Got to take your word. All right. Now, we're going to do three frog hops into an in-out. So from a side view, like it sounds, frog hop. One, two, three, and then lunge out and back in. One, two, three, back out and back in, okay? If bouncing on the knees like that hurts and you can do squats instead, you can do squats. And then an in-out, up to you. You can always adapt, right? Ready? And go. Three froggers and an in out. If you really want to up your game, turn it into three froggers and a burpee. Anybody taking me up on that? I think Cobra Stone just did. Yeah, she is. Oh, way to be on Overwatch. I'm trying to hold you. 30 seconds. Are those enemy soldiers climbing over the gates? Oh, I'm not sure. Hang on. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Keep it going. Guys, look like you're doing great. I see you, Charlotte. Good job, kiddo. Way to go, Stevenson crew. Good job. A couple more seconds on this exercise. And time. Time on that one. All right. Moving on to the next one. It's going to be from the ground. Okay. 
from the ground. Hang on a second here. Let me clear the screen. Always oh, seems to come at the worst possible time. There we go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, these are called metronomes because it reminds me of a metronome arm, like a clock, uh, the grandfather clock pendulum going back and forth. So you're going to be lying on your, on your back, hands under your backside, with your feet about six inches off the ground. And the idea is to swing your legs side to side so forcefully that it almost picks you up. But here's the fun part. When you get to the middle, you're going to draw a tiny little circle in the air. Just a little itty bitty circle right in the center. So circle, swing it hard. Circle, swing it hard. Go right at the camera now. Little circle, swing it hard. Little circle, swing it hard. Okay? This is your minute, my friends. Your abs will love you for this. Ready? And go. Got to keep, got to keep your legs locked out straight. Some of you may have to start with just holding your legs out straight and not trying to swing them around. You might not have the ab strength yet. That's okay. You will develop it. Just lock your legs out and hold them six inches off the ground for as long as you can. Then fail, count backwards from five, pick it up, and do it again. You will get stronger, I promise you. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. Under 15. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. Do your best out there. Five seconds. And time. All right. Okay, and last one. Going to be another combo exercise. We're going to be high, low planks and in, out. So you're going to start in a low plank. Low to the ground, forearms on the ground, body down, then you're going to go to high plank, then you're going to go in and out, and then you're going to go back down low again. Then you're going to come back up high again, go in, go out, and go back down low again, okay? If you get super, super exhausted and you absolutely have to rest, try doing it from your knees, or put one leg out, wrap the other one on top of it like this, okay? But try not to give up completely. One minute. Wow, my legs feel like I went mountain biking yesterday or something. Ready and go. I don't know. And this will be your last exercise, guys. So give it your best. Nimmy, Nimmy, why you do this to me, Nimmy? You're one quarter through. Keep pushing. Let's go. That's it, guys. That's it. Good work. Good work. Even if you have to take a little breather break in between, just keep pushing. You will get stronger. It won't happen all at once. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. This is the end. Let's go. 10 seconds. And time. All right, guys. Good job. Way to stick with it. Remember, schedule the private lessons to get the curriculum that you need. If you're not picking up from the videos, because you probably won't. Okay. Um, we're definitely here to help with the videos. The classes are, are really good and technical. You're getting a lot of great information, especially the way Master Made Road is breaking down forms and one steps. But for us to get you the information one-on-one, -on -one, use the lessons. That's why they're there. Okay? Okay, real quick, and about private lessons, all right? With everything else that's going on, homeschool, people working from home, and everything else, especially at my house, Master Claus and I still have a lot of things that we need to make sure that we can cover. So every second that we have during the day is precious. If you do not book a private lesson before the start of online classes, I will not be able to do that because my schedule fills up. So... Tonight, if you booked a online class after 5 o'clock, 
If you've done that while class is to start, I will be unable to do it this evening. I've sent you emails. If you are one of the people affected, I apologize, but we have some things that we have to get done uh, for some projects that are coming up in the not too distant future. So uh, please make note, I schedule these private appointments before the start of online classes at five. Okay. All right. Turn it up. Young Yang. Right hand up, ready. Hot toe, set. I'm sure. Good night, guys. Love you. See you later. Bonsai. Bonsai. Bonsai.